guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jasmine McDonald and I post ballet and fitness related videos every single Tuesday, Thursday, and now Sunday. And if you're new here, you may as well hit subscribe because you're already here anyways. Now I wanted to do a daily stretching routine and these are stretches that I use every single day to maintain my flexibility needed for my dance teaching as well as my dancing. So let's go ahead and get started. Roll out your yoga mat for equipment today. We will just need two yoga blocks, but if you don't have any, you can use anything that will help keep you a little bit elevated so that your back can stay nice and straight during some of these stretches. So let's go ahead and get started on our elbows, taking your legs out in front of us, just warming up our hips a little bit more. Let's bend and stretch or bend the right knee, making circles for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, <laughs> three, lots of pops and cracks, two, one, and let's reverse with the right for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna do five huge circles with the right leg for five, four, keeping that left hip down, three, two, and one, and let's reverse. Keep that left hip down for five, getting those hips nice and warm for four, three. Try to lift your leg as high as you can. Two, and one, and same thing with the left. We do 10 with the knee bent. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, reverse, for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, make sure you have space, we do five with the left for five, four, Three, two, one, and let's reverse for five, Ooh. four, try to lift it nice and high, three, I know it's tiring, <laughs> two, last one, beautiful, go ahead and prop yourself up, bend your knees, and just do some windshield wipers from side to side, one side to the next, nice and easy. And like I said, these are just stretches that I do every single day. I like to do them at the end of my ballet class or before my ballet class to warm me up. But either way, I do all of these stretches every single day. Awesome. So let's go ahead and grab our blocks. We're going to start with our left leg forward today in a low lunge, keeping your shoulders stacked on top of your hips. Think belly button to spine really lower those hips and think of slightly tucking under so we can stretch that right hip flexor, squeezing that right glute to open up the right hip flexor. Good, and we're gonna sit halfway back, lengthening our spine. Think of belly button towards your thighs, you straighten your knee, walk your blocks forward. Once again, I'd rather see you up here keeping your back nice and flat than down here with a super arched back. Good, and we're gonna bend and stretch for five. And go back, think belly button attached to your thigh. Four, and go back. Three, and go back. Two, and go back, and last one. Stay here, tuck your toes under, lift the knee without lifting the hips. Keep lowering those hips, if anything, as you lift the knee and straighten it. And then take your blocks on the inside of your left foot and flip towards your center lunge. Keep lowering your hips. And we're gonna flip back to your front lunge. If you don't wanna use the blocks, you don't have to. They're just a helpful tool to keep your back nice and lengthened. And let's flip to our center lunge again. And back to our front lunge. You can go over the toe if that's easier. And let's do one more so we make three. And go back to your front. This time, place that knee down, 
point your left toes towards the corner and put your elbows down. Option to put the blocks underneath your elbows, once again, to keep that back nice and healthy. Optional here, as you put your right elbow down, you can use your left hand to push the knee open. This is a really nice stretch for your left hip. And sometimes I like to rock side to side here. Beautiful, walk your hands back, point your toe to the front, sit back, but keep your body on your thigh. So only straighten your leg as much as you can, keeping your body completely attached to your thigh. Beautiful, and let's bend that left knee into a pigeon, keeping it in line with the front of your mat. Place your right hip down, making sure your hips are nice and square. This is a really good stretch for dancers because we use our glutes a lot while we dance, so it's really important to not just stretch the muscles we think we need to stretch for flexibility, such as our hamstrings to lift our legs higher, but we also have to stretch the muscles that we use so we don't get super cramped up and super tight. Beautiful, and then you can go ahead and walk forward. Good, and coming back up, take both knees to the back into your tabletop. On the next exhale, arch your back into a cat, tuck your chin to your chest. And let's look up into a cow. Good, let's do that one more time. Go into your cat. And go into your cow. Bring it back to neutral, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up, and as you go to your downward dog, release your heels to the floor and think of lifting your tailbone up to the sky. Let your chest fall to the floor, lengthen your spine. And you can pedal at your feet here for a second. Try to get your body closer to the floor while you lift your hips up. Beautiful, and then take a step forward with your left leg. Option to grab the blocks here, keeping your hips nice and square. And in this triangle pose, we're just gonna lift our back heel up and down, stay close to your front leg. And again, up, down for three and down, last one, four. And let's go all the way down into a lunge. Go ahead and bend into your back knee. If this is painful on your back knee, option to put a block underneath your knee. It's a little bit comfier and it gives you a little bit more of a stretch. Go ahead and reach towards your back foot, pull your heel towards your glute and keep lowering the hips. I see a lot of dancers go like this and they think they're doing a stretch, but you're not. Keep lowering the hip as you pull that heel in. Even if the heel doesn't come completely in, I feel my thigh more here as I'm lowering my hips than I do here. I don't feel anything here. Beautiful, and then let's flip into our center, keeping the left toe pointed towards the side, hips facing the front. Beautiful, flip back towards your front, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up, into your triangle once again. Rolling that right hip down. Now take a step forward or back into a forward fold. You're gonna notice your left hamstring in the back of your leg is much more warm than your right. And we're just gonna bend and stretch our knees for four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, take a step back with your left foot, right foot forward in your low lunge once again. Think of bringing your belly button to your sternum tucking your pelvis under before you deepen into your lunge. Beautiful, we're gonna rock back, lengthening your spine as you walk your blocks forward. Try to keep your belly button close to your thigh. forward and back for five, 
and back, four, and back, three, and back, two, and back, and last one, and back. Good, go forward once again. Tuck your toes under, lift the knee without lifting the hips, keeping the hips nice and low. Walk your hands or your blocks into the inside of your right foot. Flip your hips to the front, into your side lunge, both knees open. Good, and let's flip back to the front. And again, we're gonna do that three times. Let's go for two. And back to the front, try to keep your hips nice and low. Last one. Good, and come back. And now you can point your right toe open to the corner and place your elbows down to stretch out that glute. As well as the inner thigh and the right leg. I know I kind of mixed up the order, but it's okay. This is why I always have to write down my classes so I don't mess up the order too much. But we're here now, having a good time. Good, and coming back up. Point your toe towards the front. This time, keep your body close to your thigh as you go back. Once again, keep your body close to your thigh. This side is a little bit more difficult for me. Maybe this side's easier for you. Maybe you're a righty. I'm definitely not. Key is to keep your body close to your thigh, even if you don't get it fully stretched. Go ahead and then go ahead and bend into the front leg. Option to put a block underneath your back knee before we bend the back knee into our quad stretch. You can grab the other block to help you balance. Go ahead, bend into that back knee, keep those hips low and square, and reach around for that back foot as you pull that heel towards your glute. Keep your hips low, don't let the hips lift. I'd rather see you down here once again, a little bit of a bigger angle in your back knee versus up here, this is not a stretch. <laughs> Beautiful, let go of the foot. And flip towards the front in our lateral lunge. Right knee facing the side. Try to keep your shoulders on top of your hips. Beautiful, point your toes forward. Tuck the toes under, lift the hips into your triangle. And we're just gonna lift our back heel for five, four, three, And one. Good, this time point your toes towards the front. Into your forward fold, take your ankles and try to flatten out your spine. Option to walk your hands behind your heels. And we're gonna bend a stretch for four, three, two, and last one. Walk your hands up, point your toes open into a grand plie stretch. Just going side to side. Good, point your toes forward again and then slide into your straddle. Both legs nice and wide open and walk your hands in front. Try to pancake your belly button to the floor. Keeping your knees and your toes facing the ceiling. And then let's come back up. Option to flip towards your left leg split. Try to square off those hips. Once again, I do all of these stretches for ballet class, so my legs and my hips are nice and warm, or after, just to maintain flexibility. And this is what I use, and I find it helps me. And flip back to your center, and flip towards your right. Like I said, I'm not a righty, so I'm still working on improving that transition. 
Go ahead and flip back to the center. Go ahead and come back in. Last but not least, take a butterfly, pressing your knees down, and then go forward. I also just realized we totally forgot to do a pigeon on the right side. So go ahead and take your right leg pigeon, left leg back. Make sure that hip's also stretched. And then you can walk forward. Awesome. And very last thing, I just like to take my legs behind me, press my hands into the floor, squeezing my glutes, rotating my legs, press up into a cobra just to stretch my back and my hips. And sometimes if I'm feeling really flexy and really warm, I'll take my toes to my head. And go down into counter stretch. Let's go back into a child's pose. Awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed this stretch. Let me know what you think in the comments. I will see you next time. Have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, happy dancing, and until next time, Bye now.